brother Rick Ross. Um, he, to me, is definitely one of the hardest working men in this business. Um, to know him and have a personal relationship with him, um, this is not happening by accident. This is all designed, this is all planned out. He knows hard work pays off. Um, this to me is like, you know, one of the best signings that Leo has signed since, um, you know, Def Jam, to be honest. It has that intensity, it has that feel, it has that camaraderie, that diversity. Um, Maybach music, um, the, the way that Ross is so talented as a brand builder, um, every time you hear that, uh, Australian girls say Maybach music. Maybach music. <laughs> it's like your dick gets hard. <laughs> or at least my dick gets hard. So um, I had to bring, Ross, I had, I'm telling you now, I had to bring back the bad boy with the chimes for the beginning of my record. So. So please don't, uh, it's all love, baby. <laughs> yeah, but you, um, Ross was, uh, is, is, was and is a pioneer. Um, when you think of mixtapes, mixtapes were throwaways. Um, mixtapes were warm-ups before Rick Ross put out his mixtapes. Um, his mixtapes were albums, his mixtapes would drive the labels crazy. Um, I had to have a conversation, a fight with him when I was managing him for like two weeks. <laughs> and then I realized we was friends and I wasn't gonna get a commission, so. I kept managing him because I love him and kept consulting him and all that. But, um, so we had our first manager, you know, artist fight, because he was actually going to keep BMF on the mixtape and not release it. And that's how much belief he has in his ability to make another hot record. He's like, I'll make another one of those. You know what I'm saying? And I was like, well, well what about I'm not a star? You know, and all the other great records, his, his stuff is so incredible. And then this last mixtape that came out, it, it, just, it just set the tone and it changed the game. 